In today's episode, we're in Portugal to explore an abandoned military prison that dates back to the 1600s. The buildings were originally constructed as a fortress to defend Lisbon, but they ended up seeing more use as a quarantine hospital. It was abandoned in the 1800s, but when the Portuguese Civil War broke out, it was renovated to serve as a military prison. For the next century, it would go through many cycles of occupancy and abandonment, and the building served as everything from a fish guano processing plant to a private residence. Eventually in the 20th century, it was reactivated as a military prison for the Portuguese Navy until finally being abandoned again in the 90s. Now, join us as we venture inside the centuries-old fortress and see what's left. When we're spending long hours traveling and exploring abandoned buildings, it's very important to be well rested. And thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this portion of today's video and helping make a good night's sleep possible. I've had my Helix mattress for about 9 months now and it's been great. I've been less restless throughout the night and I've had a lot fewer sore mornings when I wake up. Sometimes I'm so comfortable I just don't want to get out of bed. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and shipped right to your door. Everybody's different, and Helix knows that. On their website is a sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleeping preference to the mattress that best fits you. But they have something for everyone, and if you sleep with a partner, you can even take the sleep quiz together to find something that fits both of you. The mattress is shipped in a box right to your door. It comes rolled up with impressively compact shipping materials. Because of how compact it was shipped, I was able to get it into the bedroom and set up on my own. And it really surprised me how well it was packed and how quickly it expanded. In only a few minutes, it was ready for a solid nap. Based on my results, Helix matched me with the Midnight. I'm a side sleeper and prefer a medium feel, something that's soft but still supportive. They also offer an optional Glaciotex cooling cover, which I opted for. It helped maintain the temperature during the summer, but I'm also noticing it helps during winter. I like it colder when I sleep, and the cooling cover pulls heat away from your body. Over these past 9 months, I've had better and more comfortable sleep than I've ever had before. This is the mattress I wish I could have when traveling. And while it's not possible to bring it with me, the first night back home always comes with a super restful and comfortable night's sleep with the Helix mattress. With your Helix mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial, so if you're nervous to buy something that you haven't tried yet, you get more than 3 months to make sure you love it. There's also a 10 year warranty, and there are financing options and flexible payment plans available. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. Click on the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash proper people for up to $200 off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Follow that. That's a big drop. It is. Oh, what the hell? Well, it's like a super modern looking building. Yeah, it is modern looking. That's sus. Let's just keep going. Let's go this way. You think so? You Stay think it's still used the... in the prison walls? Right, we'll get a little closer look from up here. Okay. I think they could have built something new in here. In here? I doubt. Then there has to be an easy way in. That building is definitely in use. What's up? That building's definitely in use. Yeah, that looks new. Let's go the other way. I don't see any way down. That's so there. weird. You don't suppose this is the way, do you? Oh, yeah, that might I be the way. I suppose this is probably the way. That's probably the way. We can take a look down here, though, while we're up here. Uh 
Yeah, this isn't it. Okay. We'll go the other way. Oh, wow. This is really sus. I'm going to get my camera after I get down. I don't know. How are you going to get anything? You can put it in my backpack and then just chuck my backpack to me. Okay. I can try to stabilize the boxes. It's not that wobbly. It's a little wobbly. Would it actually fall over? Yeah. No, it hits this. I don't know if it will. Unless you're like really... Oh, it won't fall over to the right. It could fall over to the left. Yeah. My left. I think we should be good now. Yeah. Look at this window. Yeah. It's like it's a insane. church window. And there's cells in there. We're in. Hopefully. That's the building that looked really good. The cool window. We might not be in all the way. Yeah, the that's what I was thinking. Into. There's stairs. I think we're fine. Tile roof. Yeah. Nothing in here. More than your classic barred windows, though. More detail. I think we need to go down those stairs. Yeah. I feel something crawling in my shoe, maybe? This is nice. Looks dark down here. There's a little bit of light. Check out how gnarly these cell doors look. Oh wow, that's a big door. This side upstairs didn't have stairs. No, it didn't. I wonder where these go to. It might go somewhere else. Here's ground level. So we're like in all the way now. These are pretty big cells. I wonder how many people per. Did you see this? There's an archeological dig going on. Really? Yeah. Oh. They excavated some stuff. They are the right size for. Could be some graves. Maybe. Let's see what's up here. Some nice stairs. This room has a lot of smoke damage. Just on the ceiling. That might actually just be painted black. This 
It's like a whole back corridor over here. Hidden away. Here you have Jesus, and here you have that. that go out to the street? Should be careful. This is pretty amazing though. Yeah, it is. I see a cat watching us right at the door. <laughs> Definitely the coolest person I've ever been in. Mm -hmm. It's got a very, it has a lot of design elements right from a church or a cathedral. The cells are all quite empty. There was an infirmary here. No sign of it though, other than the literal sign. Let's see what's up with that. Like, can someone from the street just see us? From the street? Like, they know. have to be in the walls. Oh, this is just open. Those are people's apartments, dude. They're like in their courtyard, I think. Yeah, that's weird. This is like their private courtyard, I guess. They just live in the prison walls. Maybe. That's what it seems like. I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay. There was something painted on the wall here. Barely any trace of it left. Step inside a cell. That's a lot of years of paint built up. We got some like cartoon characters on the wall in here. It's very strange. Is this some like really old graffiti? What is going on in here? The 
floors up here do not feel the sturdiest. Whole thing is jiggling. Really? That's so weird. Why would they build that there? I don't know what that is. That bent way more than I would have liked. Uh, I might just backtrack the other way. Yeah, that moved a lot. I could totally punch through that. You can hear the rust flakes falling off underneath yeah. me. Stained glass is amazing, but it's in very rough shape. I think they're holding this column up between the windows, or holding the glass to the column with this wire. They're trying to hold it up. Wanna go back through here? Yeah. I have to point out the tiled floor, but it's literally just like a vinyl. This one has higher ceilings at least. It's a nice staircase. The railing is really nice. Looks like another really nice stairwell over here. It's getting greener in every room. And a swarm of mosquitoes. Wonderful. Something is screaming up there. Baby birds, perhaps? Oh, definitely baby pigeons. Baby pigeons. There's, there's, yeah. I guess we'll finish this floor before heading up. Okay, we finished this floor. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we're going up. I think there might be like a church or something because I saw more stained glass windows on the outside of this building. Nope. The place I saw the stained glass windows was like right on the other side of this wall. Yeah. Back down we go. Fucking mosquitoes, man. Look, check that out right there. That's yeah, gotta be that looks the like chapel. a chapel. Be careful on these steps. We're probably gonna have to go outside and around to get to it. That's a rather underwhelming chair just chilling. Nothing? Mm-mm. The -mm. guy. Figures. Whatever is in that door looks newer. This might be the chapel. 
also might not open. I don't know. There's a big padlock on it. It's all screwed. Look at the side of it. Yeah, but they're all out. I think there's really long screws. Yeah. It's not budget. Okay. That one building looks sketchy. There's like a paper taped to the window. It looks fresh. There's like stuff in English. Why is this in English? I don't know. Look how they spelled proper. Where? And look how they spelled alcohol. Where? Right there. Alcohol. Oh. Prop per. They left their rock samples here. Step over them. <clears throat> Super weird how the chapel is like the one really sealed building here. Maybe they really care about preserving that part for some reason. Today, the fort has been taken over by a university that plans on rehabilitating the property. It seems the complete history of these storied structures is still yet to be written.